Hello people, I'm Ryan and I have been hacking things my whole life. Hope you're doing well. I'm hoping to help some people out today. If you've clicked on this video, you most likely have tinnitus and so do I. Uh, it goes up and down and it goes away based on things I do. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more. But today we're going to be making some special music for you to listen to that research has shown that it really works with diminishing, if not removing your tinnitus over time. And that's called notch music. It's based on research. Not only did I, to make this video, looked at all the research that was done on it, but there's a couple guys, Pantov and Akomoto, that decided that they were going to in investigate neurons and the activity that was in the auditory cortex. And they discovered that there was an overstimulation of the neuron activity in there. But they also discovered that the way that the neurons were laid out was very similar to the keys on a keyboard and there was frequency so there you can have overstimulation in one particular frequency the research articles that i looked at everything that i could find right now is listed below there's also an app that i'm going to need you to get that will match your tinnitus and that app is called noise gen here it is right here i'll link that below if that is not available in the future while you're watching this video get another app that matches your tinnitus so we're in Adobe Audition right now, and we're gonna remove an octave, like a cave of music, a section of music, because what Pantov and Akimoto figured out that by if you remove that section of the music, still sounds like music, you're just removing a certain series of frequencies, an octave of frequencies, you can not excite those particular set of neurons that are causing the over excitability and making you hear this tend to sound. So basically, you're not gonna give them a frequency that's getting them all fired up. You're gonna let that and remove that. And you're gonna probably wanna listen to this selection of music for about a year um, as therapy that's based on the research that I've seen and the research that is in comments that I read about other people. Okay, so let's go into Adobe Edition. I'm gonna be playing this little clip here that I have some music that I'm making I'm going for like 20 songs that I'm gonna make that I'm gonna call it my notched library and while I'm listening to that I can pretty much see here visually down below that I have every frequency all from 1k all the way up to 17k by the way when we're little tiny babies we could hear all the way up to this higher frequencies of 23k we lose that and we don't even need that not sure why babies have it so if you know, maybe it's for a safety mechanism, but you pretty much can't do anything as a baby, but we lose that. So, and so also if you've lost some hearing, maybe it's up in these higher frequencies. I certainly can't hear a lot of this frequency, but I can hear part of the one that I'm gonna notch. It is, it is my frequency of my tinnitus, which is 7220. The way that I figured that out is I went and got an app called the noise gen app and that is a free app it took me a little bit to match that and now we're going to be using our calculator to do a little bit of fun math because you're going to need that with this scientific filter we're going to be using an adobe audition right now so under effects we're going to want to go to filter and eq scientific filter okay and as i'm playing this music here you can see a general um this scientific filter did notch some of the music already, but it's not my settings, okay? So what I want to do, when you're done with this, you can make a preset and you can apply this to a bunch of different music and batch music out. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. And I also will help you find someone to do this if you cannot do this. All right, so the first number, uh, you want to first of all have Butterworth uh, is your type and you want band stop. Okay, it'll probably look like Bessel and Low Pass when you first start. All right, you want Butterworth and you want Bandstop. The first number is your tinnitus frequency that you have to match divided by 1.41. That's Bantov and on the lower end, the lower pass, that's what um, Pentoff and Octomotive said to do. It's based on their research. That's down below. All right, so that's the the low thing, and then the top is just double that. So I'm going to go to five one two one times two. I wonder if it's, no five two one. I think I'm going to do the the times two, and that is my upper and lower. And then for order, 
is just think of the order as what size of the as it's tapered down like if i look at let's do a hundred watch that little notch out there do you see how it goes straight down well you want it to go feather in you want it to be smooth ease in and ease out so the order is going to be 20. And that'll give us about a good 120 decibels to, not decibels, but frequency to drop, take a while to drop down into based on research. Okay, now that I have everything there, I can apply it, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new custom filter. I'm gonna call this Ryan's uh, Octave Drop. And I'm going to call it 7220 because that's unique for my tinnitus. I have a very unique tinnitus. By the way, I named my tinnitus, um, the name of my tinnitus is Paco. So instead of being over alarmed with my tinnitus sound, I named it Paco. It's taking me a while, but it helps it go away. I named my tinnitus and his name's Paco. So sometimes I think, hey, Paco, you're kind of loud today. Hey, Paco, you're kind of quiet. Maybe I don't even talk to Paco. But anyways, call me crazy. That's what it is. So anyways, that's my tinnitus drop. Now I'm going to hit apply. And it's working 92%. And there it is. There's my octave. Now let's go ahead and listen to it. It doesn't even have that octave in it. I've dropped all of that out. And that, my friend, if you put around 20 songs together, removing your octave and listen to that for around however long, you may well take this into your own hands. By accepting it, by coming up with something like this you can actually do that makes you feel good, I think you can turn things around. So whatever you do, guys, make something that connects someone. If you need the directions, they're down below. Have a great day. I love you. Peace out. Magical.